the AI BI dashboard in Databricks is an advanced AI powered low code solution designed to enable users to create highly interactive data visualizations and dashboards with ease, leveraging natural language processing to assist in authoring while integrating seamlessly with the Databricks data intelligence platform to provide instant insight at scale unified governance and fine-grained security which makes it an ideal tool for democratizing analytics and empowering business users to self-service their data needs in this video i'm going to show you how you can create multi-page ai bi dashboard with slices so let's get started before creating the ai bi dashboard it is important we must have data in our unit catalog so i'm going to come to my catalog and then I've got this cornerstone data breaks that contain some schemas. And then I've got this um, Delta Life table and this My Data Catalog. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use this F sales schema that contains this sales table. So I'm going to click on this and show you the sample of the data. So when I click on this, I'm going to see all the columns that I've got in that sales table. Now, it is important you have at least minimum of serverless compute. So I'm going to come to, in the compute, click on this SQL warehouses, and then I want to turn on the serverless compute. So we don't actually need the all-purpose compute for this job. So the SQL warehouses serverless compute is enough for this project. Now, there are several ways we can create the dashboard. We can come to the catalog and then let's want to actually use this table that is the sales underneath the F-Sales schema. So I can click on the name of the table and then I can click on this create and I can create the dashboard from here. Alternatively, I can come to this environment, click on this dashboard and then I can click on create dashboard. So whichever environment is suitable for you, you can always create dashboard. Now let's go ahead and create our first dashboard. So I'm gonna click on this create dashboard. And then we can see the new dashboard with today's date and the time. Now I can click on this to rename. I'm gonna call this one sales overview dashboard so once i'm done i can press enter to commit and that's going to change automatically now we can see we have the canvas and then the data now, it is important we bring data from our unity catalog in order to be able to create our dashboard so i'm going to click on this data and then i can see the unity catalog icon so click on that and then i'm going to use one of the catalog in my organization so i'm going to focus on this cornerstone data breaks so i'm going to expand and then I want to focus on this F sales schema that contains this sales table. Now I can click on this kebab to add to a dashboard. So it's going to be accessible within the canvas. But before we go to the canvas, we can see we're going to have this SQL statement that's going to select the top 100 records from this table of this schema and this catalog name. And I don't even need to run, it's already executed automatically. So we can see the preview of the result. I can click or move this to the right, I can see the last column, which is cool. Now I can come back to the canvas. In the canvas, we can create a multi-page dashboard. So I can see we have the untitled. Now I can click on this kebab to rename, delete. I can move to the left or right if I have more than one page created. Now I'm gonna double click and let's call this on sales by product. And once I'm done, press enter to make changes. Now we can add a visualization or filter to our canvas. So we can use this to move our widget. We can use this to add a visualization. We can add a text box. We can even add a filter. Now let's click on add a visualization. So I'm going to see this widget. And once I'm done or fine with this location, just release the mouse. And then we can ask the assistant to create a chart for us. So let's want to say sales by product now i can even say the column names and i can say render using pie chart and i'm going to press okay just let me correct this pie chart and click on submit so this is going to start generating and then we're going to have in this case the donor chart so when i click on check this i can say this is giving me pie chart but this actually donor chart in power bi but not to worry so this is fine now i can accept this result if i'm okay and then we have the title we have the pie chart and we have the legend at the bottom now there are some couple of things you can do within this chart we've created i can click on this kebab i can delete i can clone now clone simply means going to actually duplicate the chart 
there we go so i can press delete to get rid of this cloned chart now i can also view the full screen similar to what we have in power bi so we can actually see it even much better now once i'm done i can click on exit full screen again coming back to the kebab i can copy to widget i can download csv the underlying data i can download to tcv i can download to excel i can even download this picture as a png and i can even see the underlying data set when i click on this it's going to switch back to this this tab for me and once i'm fine i can come back here so this is basically how we can easily create our chart so what about if we want to actually create a card so this is known as a counter in ai bi dashboard so i can click outside and click on this and i'm going to move this up a little bit and i'm going to come to the widget now in the widget we can add title we can add description we can choose our data set and we can add filter fields and we can even pick the visualization now i'm going to click on this to go to counter so uh, let me click on the counter and then for the counter we're going to select a value from our sales data set so click on this plus and then i want to see the sales as a card so there we go so this gave me sales value let's say i want to put in the title i can click on this title and i'm going to call this one just double click in this title widget title total sales across all time period so once you're done just click outside again i can come here i can resize all right i can make it to be smaller if i choose and this is fine now let's say we want to actually create the total quantity again i can click on this i can add this here a little bit I can uh, resize to make it smaller and once i'm done i can move it up a little bit and again i'm going to choose the visualization which is going to be counter and i can add the value i can use the quantity column and that give me m15 as the total quantity again i can call this one uh quantity so come here so i'm going to call this one quantity and then i can even add a description so i'm going to call this one uh, total quantity across all time period so once i'm done just click outside and that takes effect so what about if we want to create slicer so now i love this so i'm going to click on this add a slicer and again i'm going to move it here and in the slicer again we can use a description a title if we want and then we can choose our filter type by default we're going to have this single value so let's start with the single value so i'm going to have a field so let's say we want to slice this by uh the month so i'm going to say we have the sales dot month as the field and i can click on this drop down and i can pick the month of april and everything sliced automatically which is nice now i can go back and pick another month of february what about if we want to say multi-value? I can click on this plus sign. I can use the multiple value and I can see February for now. I can click on this drop down and use or pick the month of August. And there we go. I can even add more months. So click on this drop down and I can add July and that worked fine. So I can see two or more value. So that's how we can use slicer. And I'm going to move this a little bit. Now I can create another slicer. So just to see how it works again i'm going to add a field let's say we want to add the um, region as a field and i can come here and play around i can even use the text entry so let's say i want to see the south i can just type in south and you can see no data let's see east okay can you see we have data for the east and let's say we want to see west so it can say it worked fine so these are some of the capabilities and of course we can also use a um, date picker so again i'm going to drop that here and i want to add a date um, picker date range and so on anyone is fine so just add a field and then this is going to of course accept a date or column that contains date value so i can click on this calendar and i can pick all the dates so if i choose to so this is how we can create the first part now let's create another page so we're going to call this one sales by subcategory and then press enter to commit and then again i can add my visualization i can drop this a so again i want to say sales by subcategory and region render using stacked column chart and once i'm done i can click on submit 
and let's see what the AI can generate. And this is looking cool. So we have this amazing um, stacked column chart. Again, I'm going to accept this is what I'm looking for. So if it's not what you're looking for, you can reject and then create your own by yourself. So again, we have the title. And again, I can even double click and modify the title. So just and then I can get rid of this region. And let's say I want to image delete. I can image delete sales chart. You can use whatever you like. And then once you're done, click outside. Now, some couple of things we can do again. I'm going to scroll down. And then for this, we can change the color of our group by. So let's only change the color for the central. I'm going to click on this and I can pick another color of choice. Let me pick something else. Okay, can you see it's changed? And I can also enable the label. So I'm going to turn it on and this worked fine. So again, you can continue to interact with your chart. Now let's see finally the line chart. So I'm going to move this a little bit and I'm going to create it without using the AI. So I'm going to click on this ad and I'm going to drop here and I'm going to expand and I can change the visualization to line. And then for the X axis, we want to see the month. So I'm going to set for the month and click on that. And then for the Y axis, we're going to see the sales. So there we go. And we have the line chart. What about if I want to use the other date? I can come back here and use this minus to get rid of the month. I can click back on the plus sign. I can set for the other date. And this allows me to actually see both at the month level or the year level, day level, and so on and so forth. So we can see we have the monthly order date by sales. Now, what about if I want to see maybe yearly? I can click on this. And then it's going to be a temporary. I can even use the category car if I choose. So depending on what you are trying to look at. And then I want to focus on the transformation. So let's say I want to see this yearly and this is going to change. And let's say I want to see this weekly and this looks good. If I want to see this daily and this looks good. So these are some of the stuff we can do. So once you're done with building your dashboard, we're going to say this is going to be saved as a draft and then you can click on publish your dashboard so once you publish then your organization or your manager or the end users can actually use this dashboard so i can click on this publish and then we're going to say embed credential default opening blah blah so once you're done just click on publish now you can even copy this link and send it to your colleague or the people that need to access this um, dashboard so i'm going to click on publish now and then we can say dashboard publish. You can view the dashboard here. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open in a separate tab and I can see the dashboard. So we can see it has changed from draft to a publish. Now I can always go back to the draft to keep on working on it if I choose. So I can come back to this second page and this looks good. So this is an introduction to AI BI dashboard in Databricks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.